Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Happy Vlogmas Day 17. For today's Vlogmas video, we're gonna be doing our nails. Yay! It's another DIY nail video. I know you guys love these on my channel. So we're gonna go ahead and give ourselves a fresh Christmas set because I'm trying to get in the holiday spirit. So let's get into it. First, I'm obviously gonna start off with manicuring and just cleaning up my nails. Um, I just popped off my old set. I know, I popped it off with a Metro card. I just like, <laughs> you could take the girl out the city, but you can't take the city out the girl. You feel me? Like, you <laughs> I, uh, it's just so quick and simple, but it's really not good for your nails because I rip my nails every single time. I don't do it every time, but this time I just didn't feel like soaking off and already like a lot of them because it was a full cover um, soft gel nail that the Apri, Apre nails, um, they just like started to lift and like basically come off themselves. So it was really not that hard, but <laughs> I cleaned up my nails and I'm going in with my um, handheld e-drill and I'm just taking this like cuticle piece. It has like a little point, but it's really like gentle. It doesn't hurt or anything. Um, it doesn't feel rough against the nail bed or the skin. And I'm just cleaning out the cuticle area because there is some dead skin on the nail bed and some cuticle on the nail bed so i just wanted to clean that up i always say the key to really just really nice looking nails like a really fresh looking set is for your cuticles to be cleaned up i know a lot of people skip that part because it can be very tedious and it's just like a step that you necessarily don't have to do but in order for them to look really cute i highly suggest it okay so i'm just buffing off the shine off of my natural nail really really light with the e-drill um and it's on the lowest setting and i just did it like one time all the way down so they're all buffed and ready to go these are my apri gel x soft gel nails the chan legend um inspired set or a set that he curated so these are a extra long coffin shape I really, the, you guys remember the first time that I used these on my channel and I was struggling. I was legit like I was struggling. But this time around, I was like, I took a different approach and I feel like I got the hang of it. I was not mad at it, okay? It wasn't that hard this time around. Like second time was a little bit easier and I'm just hoping like as I go on, you know, it'll just get simpler and simpler for me. Um, but I'm just going in with this really narrow um, drill bit piece and you have to buff the inside of the soft gel nails. It's one of the directions. So I'm going in and I'm doing that with my e-drill. Um, it would be kind of impossible, I feel like, to do this with a nail file. So you do need an electric nail file or electric nail drill in order to use these nails because you have to buff the inside of the soft gel nail so that it adheres to the gel and your nail better. Then I'm gonna be taking these two McCart nail extension gels. The first one is Elliot or Elite? I'm not sure what that says. The font is so small, but I'm going with the lighter of the two. This was the fall and winter collection. And um, I got the whole little like set for the PR package that I received. So it's just the two McCart gels, the poly gels, which I'm gonna be using in the video, this brush that I'm using, and then the clear liquid gel is, um, the clear liquid that I'm using as a slip for the poly gel. Um, so I filled the pinky with the glittery poly gel and then for the ring finger, I'm gonna be placing some like red tinsel on the inside. So I just did a layer of the extension gel, the Apri Gel X, like that clear liquid gel. I placed a thin layer of it on the inside of the soft gel nail and then I'm just taking my brush and picking up the little red foil tinsel pieces and I'm just placing them on the inside of the nail so it's gonna look like, I don't know, like a Christmas present or just red tinsel that goes around the tree. Like, I, I remembered that I had this and I was like, oh my gosh, this would be so cute. And then I was like, ooh, what other colors in this little set that I have could I use so I decided to go in with the yellow it's like a yellow gold so it looks very holiday like this nail is probably one of my favorites on my hand just because of like how perfect it looked 
Um, and I don't know if you guys noticed, but for all of the nails, I'm filling them in first before I'm actually applying them onto my hand. I felt like it made it so much less stressful to manage all of the nails by doing it this way. And then I'm going in with the pH Bond dehydrator and I'm just doing a single layer of that on my natural nail bed. And then I'm going to go in with the a pre primer and apply a single layer of that. You don't want to be too heavy handed with this. This is an acid free primer. I think I was a little heavy handed with this. I didn't have to do that much, but <laughs> then I'm going to take that same um, extend gel from a pre and just apply a single layer to my pinky nail. And then I'm going to take the little handheld McCart um, UV lamp, the mini one, and I'm going to flash care for like four seconds and then take my nail that has the poly gel on the inside that's still wet, the nail is, is not dry, it's still wet, so it still has to get cured, and I'm gonna place it on top of that pinky nail that I just flash cured with the extend gel on it, go in and I'm gonna flash it again with the mini, the mini lamp, and then flip my hand and do the same thing on the other side, and then I can move on to the next finger. The mini UV lamp from McCart is good for doing like little flash cures, but you don't want to use that like solely. You want to use an actual full size UV lamp to just cure everything once you're done. But in order to like hold things in place, it's really convenient because you can just flash cure something and then you know that it won't move. So you can move on to the next finger. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just going in, you want to do a single layer of the extend gel and then you want to flash cure for like three seconds, four seconds, take your nail that you have filled with either poly gel or the extend gel. For this one, it's the pink poly gel, the natural pink from McCart. I filled that on the inside of the nail and then I stuck it on and I flash cured. I didn't show you me curing my middle finger, the pink nail, but I definitely did. Same steps, just follow it for every single finger. So for the pointer finger, um, I'm gonna end up painting on the outside of the nail. So I just use the clear extend gel from a pre. Um, I didn't have enough, which is why it wasn't sticking as you guys saw. I wanted to keep that in there so you could see that like I didn't put enough. So I had to go in and add some more. And then you wanna start from the cuticle and apply pressure all the way down so that you don't have any air bubbles. I still had air bubbles like this is so hard to do the poly gel is a lot easier to use with these nails because poly gel isn't wet so it doesn't move around the extend gel is very wet so it's like you have to apply pressure at all times but you also have to manage to get your finger under the UV lamp so that it can be cured in place it's just like it was a lot so I'm going in with the two um, Poly gels from McCart. I'm gonna have everything linked in the description box below, but one is a like icy blue, this color, and the other one's just like a clear with like blue glitter specks in it, but it's pretty much like a clear poly gel. So I'm doing the blue at the base of the nail bed, like along the cuticle, pretty much halfway up. I'm doing like an ombre, and then I'm going in with the clear poly gel with the glitter, and I'm just filling in the tip and taking my McCart brush and the little slip solution that came with these two poly gels when you buy the little set. And I'm just blending them together and I got a cute ombre and that's gonna be the thumbnail. This was like, it moves so quickly. I know this tutorial seemed very sped up, but it's because like everything was like, so much time was cut down um, from me not having to like form or shape these nails because they're already formed and they're already shaped for you. If you guys can see, yeah, these nails came out so cute. Those are all of my fingers. Now I just have to go in and like finish all my designs. But before I do that, I wanna just square off the top of the nail. Like it is straight, but there's like a little kind of like bump or lump in it at the top of the nail just from I guess when it's being made like in their little trays or whatever. So I'm just going in and I'm like squaring off the very top because I like a very sharp and straight coffin nail super narrow at the tip these are so pretty these nails i love this shape so much there's another shape that i want to try on their website too 
Then I'm gonna go in with this red gel polish that I bought off of Amazon. It will be linked down below. And this is an old nail brush from like a really old regular nail polish. And I just took it out the nail bottle. I threw off the bottle and I kept the brush and then I cut the brush. I cut, I cut it in half basically, like pretty much all of the, the little brush hairs <laughs> are cut in half. And then I'm using that to like be my skinny brush. I don't know if this is making sense. I feel like I'm just like rambling, but hopefully watching is more is better than listening to me. Um, Cause half of the time I just, I just don't be knowing what's going on. <laughs> But yeah, I'm just doing a sea smile French, but in red for Christmas, yay! Everything is so festive, I love it here. We love the holiday spirit. Um, this was very difficult to do um, because this nail, the nails are so curved. Like once you get to like the side of the nail, your brush just kind of wants to like give out. And I messed up multiple times with the beauty with gel is you can keep wiping it off and it, nev it never dries because it doesn't dry until you cure it with your UV lamp. So I love gel for that reason. Like I'll mess up and I'll just wipe it off and like start over. So yeah, I did two layers of the red so it was nice and vibrant on my middle finger. And I'm curing for 60 seconds underneath my UV lamp. And those are all good to go. And then for the index finger, I decided I wanted to do a candy cane print or design or whatever you want to call it. So I'm doing... Um, two coats of this white gel polish that I also purchased off of Amazon. Everything's gonna be linked down below. Cured that for 60 seconds, and then I'm going in with a second layer of the white gel polish. And I decided to leave this in regular speed because I was like, this is very satisfying to watch. <laughs> this is like oddly satisfying the way that I painted my nail and just the way that the gel is laying, like it just looks so smooth. <laughs> and then I went in and I cured for 60 seconds and then, oh my gosh, I can't even describe to you how stressful this was. My, my fingers and my hands were shaking so much. Like, do you know how hard it is to do stripes all the way down and then make them the same width and then also have them like all be like parallel and just symmetrical it's very hard especially with this little makeshift skinny brush that i made like this isn't even a real like skinny nail brush <laughs> so i was it, there, the candy cane nail even though i feel like it's the cutest like idea it was difficult um i definitely still think that you should try it but just be prepared to be stressed because I was stressed and I'm such a perfectionist like I wanted it to come out perfect and it didn't but I was like you know what you can't win them all Jasmine so just keep it pushing <laughs> I really just wanted to like keep trying to get it perfect but I got tired at some point um, I will say though that this has been my quickest set that I've ever done and it's because I I'm, I'm a little bit more knowledgeable in the Apri Gel X nail system and I'm like getting better with it so I was able to move a bit quicker so I'm just excited to see like how quickly my sets will be completed in like the coming weeks. Last but certainly not least, I'm gonna go in with some top coat. This is from the Gelish Gel Kit that I'm always talking about. I use it in every single nail video. Um, doing a single layer of top coat and just look at these nails just come alive. They just literally, they look so freaking like good. I'm so impressed. Honestly, pat myself on the back. I don't normally pat myself on the back, but with these, I feel like I gotta pat myself on the back because I did that, period. So I'm just going in and I'm curing for 60 seconds. Those four nails, because I just want to set the clear in place, honey. And then I'm doing the thumb. This thumb, the ombre wasn't the best. <laughs> I feel like the other thumb came out better, but 
cure for 60 seconds I just wanted to really make sure that I got top and bottom and then I'm going in with my alcohol and a little cotton wipe and I'm just wiping off the sticky layer on my nails and then I'm gonna go in with this cuticle oil the nourish cuticle oil from the jellish kit and do that on my cuticles honey and just look at my nails there he is giving ho 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 uh, North Pole, Mrs. Claus, Santa's naughty list. I don't know. It's just given all of that. Like it's giving very much holiday spirit. It's very festive. Give this video a thumbs up down below if you think my Christmas nails are hella festive. Like just smash the like button down below. Don't forget to click that subscribe button and turn on your post notifications. I've been uploading every single day for Vlogmas. So make sure your notifications are turned on. That way you know when I upload. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget you are smart, you are beautiful, and people love you. I love you and I can't wait to see you on my next upload. Bye.